is Chris Palmer, and in so I want to cover two things, one of them being how you can go ahead and find your competition secondary categories so you too can add those to your listing. The sec a brand new tip to dominate a map location and actually have Google outline your locations, the service area for you. These are two awesome tips I hope that you've never heard before. So let's just not waste any time and get right into it. So the very first tip is I want to show you how you can find the secondary categories that your competition is using. So in order to do this, I'll break it down for you. And let's do that now. So let's just say we're searching for a business. <coughs> you need the business name. Okay, so we're going to need the business name. So we are searching New York SEO. So last time we used this business, let's use this one right here. New York SEO Authority. I'm not affiliated. I don't know who they are. I'm just simply showing you how you can find secondary categories of your competition. This is not my competition. I'm just using this as an example. All right, so we have New York SEO Authority. So what we are going to need is their actual name. So it's New York SEO Authority, and they are on Broadway, third floor. So we're going to go up here to Maps. We're going to click on the Maps. It needs to be done from the Maps listing. So once we're in Maps, actual name, we type it into the Maps. So New York SEO Authority. And then you need to know their address. When this little box comes up, you need to click on that and it will bring up their actual listing. As you can see, this map over here, see me moving my mouse? This has changed over here. Now we need to find it in the list, which is here. But you need the map to change in order for this to work. And you need, see how this just changed? See how this has just changed over here and this has came up? The map changed. And this particular area over here to the left has changed. So this changed and this changed. Now we can go on this, highlight it, hit control C if you're using a PC. If you're using a Mac, I'm not sure. I've never used a Mac computer. I don't use a Mac computer. I use a PC. So unfortunately, I'm not sure how this would work on a Mac. However, you highlight it, you hit control C. Then I'm going to right click and view page source. It's going to open up a brand new page. We need to take a look and remember, okay, it's internet marketing service. So on this page, the page source, we're looking for that. We're gonna hit control F. We're gonna do internet marketing. All right, so here it is. As you can see, here's internet marketing service. That's their initial category. Then they also have marketing agency, website designer, advertising agency, advertising service, marketing consultant, and they also added Manhattan. Now I'm just going to go ahead and run back through that one more time because I know that a lot of you may have been having a little bit of trouble with this, so I want to make sure that you're able to do this without any trouble. So let's not use New York, and then I'll get into my Second tip, this next tip is absolutely one of the best, most effective tips that you will absolutely love. So I'm going to go ahead and get into that second because I want you to learn this tip first. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's search for something different. Let's search for um, a different agency. And the reason why I'm doing SEO agencies is because I know that they know uh, the ins and outs, so they're not just going to add one category, all right? Now, a lot of companies, if you're doing competition research, if they're working with an SEO agency and they're a roofer or they're a plumber or whatever the case is, if they're working with an agency, then they will have secondary categories, but I'm using SEO agencies specifically for these examples because they're SEO agencies. They know about secondary categories. So let's go ahead and just find another one just for fun. We'll search another location. That you have this down pat so you can find the secondary categories as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Florida. All right. I'm initially from Florida, so we want to go down to Maps. There's SEO Mavericks. I'm going to go and copy their name. Go back over to regular Google. We need to go to the actual maps. That's how this is going to work. 
so go to maps and remember there needs to be the search bar so i can literally type in their name because i need the map to change this does not work any other way unless the map changes and it gives me the listing so it's seo mavericks here it is that's perfect we're going to click on it we are going to wait for the actual map to change and then it's going to bring up a listing as you can see the map on the right hand side has changed and then over on the left hand side it brings up their listing now we know that it's internet marketing service i'm going to hit control c i'm going to right click i'm not sure why the control c that's always how i do it so that's how i'm, I'm letting you know i don't know if that's part of it but any case view page source control v all right so here we go it, it's working yet again I, I'm glad that I can show this. I wanted to cover this again. So here's Internet Marketing Service, Marketing Agency, Website Designer, Advertising Agency, Marketing Consultant, Public Relations Firm, that's new, and Internet Service Provider. So I'm, I hope that I've covered this well enough. I've, I've done two separate examples. I want to make sure that you completely have it. So let's get into this second tip. Let me walk you through exactly how it works. And then I'm going to give you an example of someone using this practice. And you are absolutely going to love it. So let's not waste any time. Let's get into that second tip. All right, so for this example, I'm going to show you on one of the local maps here in Pennsylvania exactly what I mean by this location triangle tactic. That I, So I want to show you how you can literally format a certain locale for your business and then have Google recognize it. So let me show you exactly what I mean and then I'll show you the example. So let's go ahead and get into that now. So again, this is a map of a location and how you would do this is simply like this. So let me go, it needs to be done within only main cities of a particular area. All right, I'm not sure exactly how far out we can go, but I've been playing with this a little bit and I've been able to do 200 miles. If you want to play with some of your unverified listings and see how far you can take it, by all means do this. But I will go ahead and showcase how this works and then I'll give you the example. So let me show you exactly how this works. Let's zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> so, first and foremost, as you can see on this map, there are some particular locations that really stand out. As you can see, Cherry Hill, Vineyard, Dover, Baltimore, York. See these dots, but really these big ones are even better. But the main towns that are really big, Trenton. So how this works is simply like this. See how this one right here, Allentown. Oh, see how this says Allentown really big? So we would start here, right? I'll make a dot. Then we would york new york now you could pick either this one or tom's river so we'll just do the one that's bigger because those work better here and then see over here this one's big but you could do atlantic city if you want if you want to cover more region but i'm going to go here because it's closer i'm just doing this as a demonstration then we have wilmington see how this is coming around here to here to here to here to here and then we would do lancaster now you could have stretched this over but i probably wouldn't cross on this area but we have wilmington here and that would go to here and then this would actually come across now with this particular tactic what will end up happening is google will do this for you they will literally outline your location signifying that basically your business your brand your service has dominated this area generally i've been using this tactic this hack and a particular area of a certain amount of length which is to be determined you will actually start showing up first in the google maps if you can dominate this area and what they will do is google will literally outline the area for you and then highlight it just like i've just described here now let me show you this on google maps so you can see this in action and how it works so let's hop over to google maps let me show you this 
I've gone I've gone over and dr drawn this for you but a visual like this is not the same as seeing it in action so let's go over here and I want to be careful because uh, now I want you to take a look at this map right here I'm gonna just click a few different um, agency and this has happened we've clicked on this particular listing and the listing will change and this will happen now you'll click on another listing and this will happen now I just want to go ahead and just zoom in a little bit and show you this particular listing now, as you can see, it's all coming in and everything's playing well. Everything is normal, but there's one outlier that knows the secret that I know, that knows the hack that I know. And I'll go ahead and show you that now. As you can see here, as you can see, we have taken, he has taken points, Atlanta, Tallahassee, Tampa, Miami, West Palm Beach. We have literally gone all the way around using the markers that Google already gives you on the maps and outline. We are dominating this particular area. My name is Chris Palmer. If you have any questions regarding local SEO, Google Maps SEO, Google My Business, literally anything SEO, local SEO or maps related, please. Ask in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next Google My Business, Google Maps video. Have a wonderful day.